<laughs> right on. So, um, so then, so uh, that was uh, someone we affectionately call Young Jer. So, uh, yeah. so now uh, maybe we'll talk more more into that a little bit later. But so now you say that was kind of your early years. But today, what's uh, what's your driving force? What's your passion today? Um, Since you switched modes, you say you have to kind of switch out of that ultimate competitor mode, I guess, perhaps, and then yeah. Um, well, I had a kid, so that was nice, mm-hmm. and uh, there were a couple times in the morning where I was like, oh my gosh, man, I just want to, like, it's just not worth the time investment, and then, you know, you see your kid sleeping or whatever, and so I, 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 I can understand now, looking back on it, like, because I've heard so many people say family stuff before, and like, you know, it gets them out of bed, makes mm-hmm. them go to work, blah, 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 and so I can kind of, I can empathize with that now, I think that's a real thing. Uh, but also just trying to, just trying to live a life where, uh, you can witness the God. And I got saved after my kid was born. Mm-hmm. She was probably a year and a half. So that was probably a year and a half ago. She's three now. But, uh, so now I just try to live in a way that, you know, someone can look on me and, and hopefully find Christ in my life, uh, just from looking in. But that's a lot harder to do. <laughs> Than <laughs> what I'm just telling you right yeah, now. You no, know? No, yeah, uh, I'm sure not everybody does see that, but uh, you know, it's a work in progress, like everyone else. 